Good evening, the time is 7.15 p.m. Friday, 27th of August, 2021. The news headline. Two strong statements Oshibanjo made about Nigeria's breakup could make Igbos forget secession. The news in details. There are two strong statements Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo made about Nigeria's breakup that could make Igbos in the Southeast forget about secession. These strong statements could be a solution to calls for Nigeria's breakup. Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo has condemned calls for Nigeria to be divided, claiming that there are more opportunities for prosperity if the country remains united. Nigeria, he claims, will suffer greatly if the country splits. Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo is a Nigerian politician. He stated that if the country disintegrates, it will not be able to defeat crime. Oshibanjo stated this while speaking at the Africa Polling Institute National Social Coercion Dialogue in Abuja. The two statements are, By splitting ourselves, we will not be able to overcome crime. We can only defeat it by fighting together against our common enemy, the criminals who arouse our citizens. This is true. Insecurity may worsen if Nigeria break up. Because without unity, we won't be able to defeat bandits and terrorists. 2. Nigeria will suffer greatly if we split up, especially now that we have the greatest economic advantages because of our size. Being together as a nation helps in economic growth. For instance, many great countries in the world have large population. If Igbos will forget about secession and unite with other tribes, Nigeria will be greatest in Africa. In summary, these two strong statements from Vice President Oshibanjo could change the mindset of the Igbo people for a better Nigeria. Recalling some times ago when Oshibanjo speaks up on Nigeria breaking up, the Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo on a Monday expressed confidence that Nigeria will not break up. Oshibanjo expressed the belief that Nigeria will remain united as a strong nation, adding that those waiting for the country to break up will be sorely disappointed. The Vice President spoke at the maiden edition of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Progressive Youth Conference in Abuja, in the area of disruption and disruptive innovation, the principle that we are stronger together than in little part is a sound principle, and it's my respectful view that those who advocate the breaking up of the country are terribly wrong. Oshibanjo told a crowd of youth and party chieftains at the International Conference Center Abuja, he said, Our size is crucial for geopolitical and economic relevance. Our people will be better served by a large, populous, and diverse country. As with all big and diverse countries, our business is to make this union work. It's to give everybody a sense of belonging. He noted that all those who are waiting on the sidelines, hoping that this big country called Nigeria will break up into bits so that they can pick up the pieces, will be very sorely disappointed. And I am very sure that those of you who are seated here today will prevent that from happening. And this was the orientation and the speech given by the Vice President of Nigeria, Yemi Oshibanjo, in a summit some times ago with the youth of the APC. And lately, the Vice President has once condemned again the calls for division of, the, of Nigeria, saying that there are more opportunities for prosperity when we are together. Whereby he noted that the classifications of Nigerians as indigenous and non-indigenous is a form of apartheid and contradicts our declared aspirations towards equality and unity. The time is 7.20 p.m. Thanks for listening. The analysis. Just recently, after the meeting held by the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo, at the Social Coercion Dialogue organized by Africa Polling Institute in Abuja on Thursday, August 26, Dollar writes that the 
two statements by Vice President Oshibaju whereby he talked about the Nigerians' breakup might possibly make the Southeast forget about secession. He spoke about the two statements to be strong and he said it might likely be a solution for the secessionist uh, agitation to divide and break up. He said the vice president condemned calls for Nigeria to be divided, claiming that when we are together, it creates opportunities for prosperity if we can suffer greatly, never to allow the country to split. The two major statements that the vice president of Shibanju made, which Dollar wrote about, was that number one, if we split ourselves, we would not have the resources and the strength to overcome, to overcome the crime in the country. And that we can only fight it together against our common enemy who are the bandits and the criminal harassing our citizens. He said this is true because insecurity may worsen if Nigeria break up. And that number two, the Nigerians will suffer greatly if we split because now the greatest economic advantages are on our side because of our size. And being together as a nation can only further help our economic growth. For instance, many great countries in the world have a large population. And if the Igbos can forget about the secession and take it to the advice of President Yemi Oshibanju, we might just be doing fine and live in peace and safety under the law.